Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more satisfactory early access. So, in our last episode, you can see we upped all of the iron rods to our Mark IV standard that we're currently trying to get the base up to. And yes, we realised the fault in all of our iron ore. It should be useful when we get down that way, and we realise that we need more of these. And also, I was trying to come up with a way to get another floor up. Now, I don't know if any of you know, there's been a recent update where there are vertical elevators. So, this seems to be a fairly easy way to jump up, and it involves updating. But until we need a second floor, I'm still not going to update it. And it's just a lag spike there. Beautiful. So, today, the plan is to upgrade all of our screws, which no longer exist, because I've just deleted them all. And... Make them into our Mark IV standard. I did mean to delete these before I started, but never mind. And I think that should be good. I did end up with a few screws left over. That's okay, we did want a few. So, first things first. We need 30 of these bad boys again. That is right, yes. Let's make sure it's all right from the get-go, because I don't want to screw up and have to do it all again. Again. Nope, that is wrong. Line coming in, machines need to be on this line here. This does unfortunately mean that most of my sky rail is wrong now as well. So this jump pad will now need to come right here. Is that centralised? Nope. I wondered why it wasn't snapping onto anything. That's what we want. Beautiful. All the uh, sky rail changes and stuff like that, I will do off camera. And I have also thought, when I get further down there, the stuff that I've got coming from the underbelly, um, I'm going to have to move all of the uh, things up, unless I just leave them, but I am not, because I want it all to be perfect. So, let's get these. I've already built the concrete out towards the end, so it should get me 30, being as though 30 machines is the, uh, the general standard nowadays. And hopefully, because we're snapping onto what we've already done, I'm fairly sure I've already aired out the um, errors in my placements before. This should be quite easy nowadays. We just follow suit and keep with the pattern. And that's why I like my patterns. Because if you've got a pattern that works, it should make the rest of the base just fall in line. And then all of this redesigning is even easier. I mean, it doesn't get much easier. We just slap machines down, and then they do all the work, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, just watching back my end clip from the end of last episode, I did go to the end game. It was brilliant. If you've not seen it already, I do recommend going and seeing it. I did cry. I will point that out in whichever episode I've mentioned on my um, Slay the Spire Let's Daily. It's whatever episode I recorded the day after that. I don't know. Trying to keep track of all these times is a little bit confusing for me. And I've got a diary at that, so I can write them all down. So that should be 30. 30 machines that we needed. We want alternate screws, because we've got iron ingots coming in. And we just want to place all of these. Then we'll get the power poles in, then the splitters and the mergers. And last but not least, all of the belts. If I could, I would like to get more than one um, module of the factory upgraded in one go. But we'll see how long it takes, because, you know, these things are a little bit tedious, and um, they do take time, unfortunately. Lots and lots of time. I just... <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, Toxic mentions when he's doing it in um, his last few episodes of Satisfactory that, you know, a tool that you can point at these machines to set them copy pasta and all that sort of jazz it would be very nice hopefully some of the um, designers have watched at least some people that have suggested that sort of thing and they're taking it on board it would be nice I mean I know, know that you can um, leave feedback in game give feedback yeah it's right there so I could put it to them myself but I'm sure plenty of other people have done so why pester them with the, uh, the same things I just enjoy playing it and that's what we'll stick with and last but not least, beautiful news, beautiful news. I did watch this week's, well, yeah, this week's, Monday. We're on Tuesday, just so you know. I watched yesterday's episode of Game of Thrones. 
I should say it's Tuesday the 7th. I watched Monday's episode of Game of Thrones this morning. It was brilliant. I loved it. I won't say anything about it because if somebody spoiled it for me, I would go insane and kill everybody. But um, yeah, it's a good episode if you've not watched it yet. I recommend going and watching it ASAP. Power poles, power poles, power poles. Don't break the pattern. We need to do things in the right order because then it makes everything easier to place and easier to get around. So let's get them all powered first. You're good. So around this one. I have been thinking about what I want to play um, after we finish Satisfactory. We get into the end game state now, and I do like using the turn end game just because end game. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're about there. It's just a case of me. Um, upgrading everything now and then we're going to see how many supercomputers we can get made not that i'm even making them yet but why bother with those when we've not got the resources to get computers being produced at a recent a decent standard it makes more sense to get all the base upgraded and then we'll start working on the end game stuff together and we can design it fresh from scratch and hopefully it's going to work but yeah i think i've come to a decision for the next game being as though nobody has decided to leave me any feedback i mean that's fair enough but some input would have been nice. Uh, I was talking to a dude that I went to school with on Facebook the other day. Um, he was just saying that he's recently purchased Subnautica and he can't wait to get into it because he wants a bit of a game other than Witcher 3 to get into because it's a little bit long-winded and he has got a, um, a newborn child. So yeah, you can imagine Witcher 3 is not a game that you can really get into when you've got to look after a little one. Subnautica is um, a game that I, I have played, not on camera, it was before I even started the channel, that's how long ago it was. But I did like the game, it was a little bit laggy on the old computer, but I want to test it on this new computer because, you know, it'd be brilliant. But I don't want to just test Subnautica, I'm actually thinking of buying the Sub-Zero DLC content. And I will start playing on the DLC rather than just a vanilla game. I loved the game, but it'll be uh, different to see how it is for me recording it, because just playing off camera is completely different to, um, you know, sitting down and talking to yourself for hours on end, like I currently do. <clears throat> I think I'd like, well, I'd like to think I've become quite good at it now, but, you know, that's um, a biased opinion. It's um, me that's recording and talking, so why wouldn't I think I'm decent at it? Feel free to tell me that I'm wrong. I'm not going to be upset. Although, if you could point out what I could do better, that would be nice as well. But yeah, I think the game that's coming after uh, Satisfactory, when we finally finish, it's going to be Subnautica Sub-Zero. So, um, yeah, keep your eyes out for that one. I don't know how much longer Satisfactory is going to go on for. I would like to get to the point where we're making supercomputers and we've seen what's in the DLC. And, you know, I think there's a fair bit more content to this yet. I know it's not getting brilliant views, but I'm enjoying playing it. I know that's the wrong attitude to have, especially for a new YouTube channel, but, um, you know, I enjoy it. Who'd, I recently watched somebody, I can't remember his name, I have subscribed to him. Basically, I, I checked through his videos, he's just over a year old, well, the channel is just over a year old. Similar to me, wasn't getting many views on the videos that he was doing, apart from recently. His channel seems to have exploded. I should really go and check the name of it. Um, I only watched just on a whim. It was somebody saying that they'd broken the game of Satisfactory. Because he's built a great big tower in the sky of belts. And whenever he looks at it, he gets less than one FPS. You might have seen it on the YouTube recommenders if you're watching Satisfactory content. Anyway, why am I going on top? It's easier to run past it. The dude is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I mean, my base... Very neat, very clean, trying to be as effective as possible, as do most people that are playing Satisfactory, because generally it's how the game should be played. This dude picks up games like this and does the complete opposite. If you've not seen him, oh, I'd tab out, but this isn't at 4K resolution and it kind of screws with everything that I've got set up, so I'm not. In fact, one minute. Not great to use your phone while you're... Um, while you're doing this. Who is it? Wait. Oh my god. Neil House. Portal 2. Number 1. A brand new... Yes. I have 
did watch New House play Portal 1. So much nostalgia. I did think about doing it myself on the channel, but I'm, I'm not going to. Let's Game It Out is the dude that I'm on about. Um, yeah, if you want a, a laugh, trust me, go and watch it. He is hilarious. And in, it seems like the past few weeks, his channel has gone from a few subscribers to about 28,000. It's the dream. It's the dream. I'm nowhere near as funny as that dude. Nowhere near. But go and watch him. His videos are only like 20 minutes long. And the way he does it, he doesn't do like um, recording a full episode of this like I would. He does bits and just like clips it all together. It's brilliant. It is brilliant. Go and have a watch. You will laugh. Trust me. Um, but yeah. I mean... He gets worse FPS than that. I don't know how the dude coped with it. I would have gone insane with the um, FPS that he dealt with to build his factory. Oh, and he's got his um, his power plant. It's an actual plant going up one of the um, natural towers that we've got on the map. He's literally got coal factories coming out, just sticking out of the rock. It's like he's, He calls it something tree. It's his coal tree or something, coal plant tree. Anyway, uh, it would just be a coal plant, wouldn't it? It's brilliant. Go and watch him. He's hilarious. Um, but anyway, we're um, we're actually not that far off being done with this. I've just got to hook up the other end. Uh, no, 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 no. We don't do this side like this, do we? I need to work out how many factories I need together. 9, 18, 27, well, it's five factories. I need to join five factories together to make one bell. So we need to do the splitters first <clears throat> to get our six lines in. All right, now that I've done screwing up, let's um, sort this out and in you go. We can join all of these together because one belt will function for all of this. If you want to do it yourself, 450 divided by 15 is 30. So 30 factories from one Mark IV belt of steel ingots, uh, iron ingots, iron ingots, moron. And then we get six lines coming out, like we discussed at the end of last episode. Every time. Every time. It seems like I've clicked. Like there. But it just doesn't want it. I must be clicking in the middle. Oh, that one worked. So I've got plenty of stuff to watch tonight. <clears throat> Enjoy watching Needlehouse play Factorio. I keep suggesting it to um, Toxic Time Waster. If you're watching Toxic, please. I know, I know. Lots of other people have recommended lots of other games because Toxic is currently asking people what he wants them to play. So if you've got an opinion, um, go on to his, well, it's like my version of a channel update. Go and put your recommendations in. He may, um, you know, like it. Um, but yeah, I love watching people play Factorio because they do it so much better than me. <clears throat> Although, I'm actually a lot more confident with that game now, thanks to Dark. I know that Dark won't see or hear this anymore but you, you don't need to know what happened I'm not that sort of person he just doesn't watch my videos anymore and that's where we'll leave it it is upsetting but mm, anyway um, yeah I'm a much more confident player at Factorio now and I think that has influenced all the rest of my gameplay like this it's the first game that I felt confident to go full on mega base for I mean I didn't well, I kind of went mega base on Surviving Mars. We had, like, unlimited resources to a degree, didn't we? So, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I've got Portal 2 to watch tonight, which I can't wait for. If you didn't watch Neil House play Portal 1, trust me, the nostalgia is brilliant. If Well, if you played Portal 1, that is. I definitely did. Um, this... Oh, I need to sort all this out. That's upsetting. And they weren't lined up properly anyway. Uh, I'll have One Punch Man episode 4 to watch. I think it's episode 4. Season 2. Whatever the new episode is that comes out today. It comes out about midday. And then we had Game of Thrones this morning. There'll be Neil House's Factorio from today. I didn't watch yesterday's because I was absolutely shattered by the time I'd finished recording. I probably didn't need to delete all them, but, you know, we've done it now. I want to line this up a little bit better anyway, so... Oh, don't delete the sky bridge. Sky rail. I keep calling it different things, I'm aware. Excuse me. Um, we need to get this splitter in a slightly different place. I've got hiccups now as well, god damn it. 
Um, so you come out to here. Uh, splitter. Splitter goes there. You should be able to reach straight in. Then this goes up. Will you reach into that? I want to do it all properly. We want the nice six tiles apart. But I'm sure at some point the six tile apart thing lines up just god awfully. There. So you know what? Uh, got stuck between them. We will leave that there. I'm still going to sort these belts out properly then. Right, that's some screws going at least. So we want to hook five machines up and then get another line coming in. So two, three, four. Yes, I know. Counting with Dak yet again. Wow, the lag spike. And one, two, three, four. This will be number five. And then we need to get our system in place for jumping up and above. <clears throat> How do I do it? I want to take the design from... Oh yeah, we've only got one Mark IV belt coming out of all of them. Does it jump up by two in the middle? No, it jumps up by two there, doesn't it? It clips onto the end. I've got to have this somewhere. It'll be on the smelting. Let me just go and have a quick look, because I want the same design for all of it. <clears throat> Where are we? This is um, copper smelting. Right, here we are. And these ones. See, that doesn't really need to go like that. Excuse me. But if I have more lines coming in, in fact, if I have more lines coming in, I'm going up onto another floor, aren't I? How do we do it over this side for the belts coming down? I literally just dropped it. Dropped it from the end into the machine, and then if we need to go up, it goes straight up. Fine. Fine. Let's do that, then. Where are we? That's where we need to be. Beautiful. These machines can all load up while I'm faffing about doing this. Just trying to look past to the iron to see where my stackers are. I don't know why I'm raising my head as I can see higher if I do that. This line here, <clears throat> I'm not going to base it on that one. This is a different system. Let's see how far it stretches to there. So it's got to go here, up and up. In you go, and then we want this bit to be uniform because I know with the iron ingots it comes up in line with <clears throat> the first merger that comes in. Doesn't look like it does. Admittedly, the smelting columns are completely different. It's just, you've got this for a reason. Use it. Okay, no it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <clears throat> it's just that that one needs to go up and whatever there. Hmm. Screws, yes, they're only there. Yeah, let's line it up like that. <clears throat> it gives it a nice even way to go out. Yeah, I knew that one would stink. It's fine. I would actually like to get this like this and this, and then this should curve straight into it. And then you can go straight into uh, that one. That's how we're going to have it. <clears throat> my throat isn't cooperating today. Apologies for um, constantly trying to clear my throat. Throat, even, not throat. That's the um, the Hothway slang coming in. It's fine, it's fine. And in case you're wondering what I'm on about, it's where I live. Not that I should really say that, but anyway. Do do do. One, two, three. Why do you keep coming from that side? Four and five. One, two, three. Yeah, we should have four splitters and then we start a fresh belt. That is. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Up you go. Let's go all the way to the end and then we'll run all these back together rather than running back to run back to run back to run back. I'm about to run out of reinforce. 
industrial beams. In case industrial... Oh, I screwed it up. One, two, three, four, and this will be number five over here. Should just have enough to hook this one up. And then I can leave this in place so we know that this one is jumping up. He's jumping up. All right, let's go get some more encased industrial beams. I don't need that many of them. Don't need that many of them. Don't need that many of them. Just want to clear the inventory out just a touch. That looks about right. Um, I always like it when we've got the lines on top. It's loads easier to run back like this. God, look at the opening. It's beautiful. Room to breathe. Uh, encased industrial beams, where are you? Everything is full. No, it's not. Heavy modular frames has stopped again. It's probably the screws that I've cut off that's um, impeding that. No. No, they're actually stored up. Oh, bless you. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting there. Just take all and put one stack back. That should be okay. Right. Up to the sky rail. Get back to the screws and let's get it sorted. Because <clears throat> it does look like it's going to take the entire episode just to get screws finished up. And then between episodes, I've got to go and sort all the belts out, leading up to the further products. I'm not sure what screws actually connect up to, but... Where is... Oh, it is there still. Uh, didn't mean to jump at that angle. My bad. Alright, back down to the bottom. Again, we're going to leave these. So, what have we got so far? One, two. This will be three. This will be four. We should get two more lines out of this. That's the plan anyway. Then between episodes, I've got to delete all this and shuffle it all up again. Oh my god, I could have actually have skipped that one. This is already Mark IV belt, isn't it? We have not got 30 factories. Hmm. To be fair, I've not got... Yeah, let's redo this one as well next episode. We want them all to be uniformed and... Uniformity it seems to be 30 machines, and then we get either one or two lines coming out depending on what we're using it for. One, two, three, four, and then this one will be number five. And there you go. And this should uh, now that was machine number five, not line number five. This will be line number five. And again, we've got one. Two, whoopsie daisy. Three, four, five. I hope this has worked out. Otherwise, I've screwed up somewhere. It does look like it, doesn't it? Not that I've screwed up, that I've done it right. I'm more amazed that I've done it right. One, yeah, it's worked. Two, three, four, and five coming in. So that is screws working completely, it seems. Why is iron not getting that down here? I assume it's just because it's filling up all the other machines. Because all the bottom ones are actually in use. So, yeah. I would like it if this would reach all the way, but I highly doubt it's going to. No, it's not. Well, let's just do what we normally do. Stretch it as far as possible and then come back just a touch and in the middle. That will be the um, design plan for this one. That's why we've got them going up there. I want you coming up half a tile. And then going up. Because then you can go there and you can go there. Alright, let's fix that before I do the rest of it then. And you go up in the middle. I'm sure it's meant to be in the middle anyway. So I always do half a tile away. So then you can join in to that one and step up one. So the factory's not going to be ridiculously high. It's probably going to be in the middle of this one. Yeah. One, two, three. And there you go. And there you go. Just fix this one. Excuse me. Join. Up and up. And up and up. And these two can run straight into there. I like this um, more relaxing incline going up. I think it looks neater. And if we've got all the factory doing the same thing, then... Um, oh, I know which one it's going to be on now. 
Just, yeah, I'm going to walk off the edge there. I keep thinking I'm too close, and then we need one, two, three. Why do we need one, two, three? One, two, maybe, not one, two, three. And in you go. Take that one back out. Sort this out. One, two, three. One, two, three, I think. You go up one and then go up two. I keep questioning whether I'm doing it right. I should be doing. <clears throat> That's why I try to do these patterns. So it is all the same. And up. In and up. We're nearly there. It's nearly sorted. Oh, the lag spike. And it will be this one. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. No, that was wrong. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I needed to go up three, not four. Oh, no, it's not. I, I just don't have a clue anymore. <clears throat> We've done screws once already, and I just tend to have forgotten what's happening, apparently. You go up there, and in, and in, and one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. Beautiful. This looks so much neater, and it shouldn't be quite as imposing to look at from a distance. Because the old one, it was kind of a um, monstrosity, wasn't it? <clears throat> Especially from further down the end of the base. You look back and you just see this thing that's stepping up, all horrible-like. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. These should be the same distance as the first pieces of that side of it. If that makes any sense. I know what I mean. It's the full length and then we've come back one because we can't put it on top of the splitter. That would be um, silly. Beautiful, beautiful. One, two, three, four. It's very neat is what... Um, and that's exactly what I'm going for. I want it all neat and uniform and in line. I already know how I want to do the second floor for when I get to it, but you'll have to wait and see how we um, get there. Uh, two, three, and four. Time are we on? It's nearly time, so I guess we could. In fact, wouldn't this be easier if I was above? I need to be careful with this one. It's slightly unaligned at the minute. No, that would not be easier, not in the slightest. Where is it? It's that one there. We should be able to tell because it's um, going to be straight. There. And there. And last but not least, there. So we should have lots and lots of screws coming in. In fact, I didn't design that one right anyway because it's not got the, um, the stacker in half before it needs to be. That made no sense, but I know what I meant. That looks a load neater. Absolutely loads neater. Admittedly, I've still got to take out loads more of this, because we don't need it all anymore. You know what, let's make the episode just a touch longer, because we're not quite at 30 minutes yet. I thought that was going to hurt. I landed on the belt, that's why it didn't. I do want to make sure that these are the full six apart, though. See, what I'm even doing with these, they shouldn't be like that. Just leave the stackers in there and it all looks loads more uniform. Right, let's set the first one up and then I can leave you guys to go and watch other things. It is actually at the right length, that is impressive. That one is not. So you can just get upgraded, you can get upgraded. All of my screws near enough go straight into here. Hmm... Well, for now we're not going to have them all going straight into here. I'm probably just going to join them all onto one belt and then see how it copes. But um, we're not upgrading this bit yet because we'll upgrade it when we get to it. Which isn't going to be for a while. There's probably going to be three, maybe four belts coming in here and then the rest going straight on. So the other two going straight on, I think, maybe. One, two, three, four. So we can cut you out. 
And one, two will go straight on, and then these can be cut down. Cut them down. Just reducing the height of the base. It's nice. We went for a vertical base. It looks okay. But now that we've got more efficient things, we might as well get rid of the rubbish that we've got. You know what? I'm going to delete this as well. Delete all of it. Delete all of this. Absolutely all of it. We don't want it. You'll see why momentarily. It's really not for that much benefit, but these can just go straight in. And two, and three, and flag spike. <laughs> Four. So, yeah, that is screws upgraded quite nicely, actually. I'm impressed with it. Hopefully it um, will work out for me. Just want that one. Um... So, next episode, we are going to very slightly redo the um, copper wire. I know I've not got 450 coming in. I think from that one outpost, we get 300. Oh, that was actually quite a nice place to land. These belts seem pathetic nowadays compared to the Mark IVs. Absolutely pathetic. But yeah, there you have it. That's um, screws upgraded to Mark IV. We are getting there. I know we're only a few stages into the upgrading process, but... You know, screws was one of the big ones that took us ages. We're actually going to be able to get reinforced iron plates up to Mark IV next. Well, not next, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, I need to connect screws back up to the bus as well. That, and I want these redoing. Because I'm fairly sure I've took the legs out of all of them, and it's annoying me now. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to come from them, so it's all going to be uniform. Oh, that's where the update's going to be nice. Well, if we just jump back one, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to redo the bus going this way as well. And we're going to leave the legs in. Not that you can see them under these great big fat belts, but at least then it'll all be in lines. All the feet will be aligned, that is, anyway. So yeah, that screw's flowing properly, and they're actually going to get Mark IV belts full of it now. Beautiful job, beautiful job. So I've got a few things to do between this episode and next one. Namely, I've got to delete all that, expand all the way out to the end of this, so we can have 30 coming in, just in case I do up my um, copper input at all. Cables. We might be able to do all that in one episode, just because they're so close together. Maybe? Maybe? maybe. We'll see. Either way, that is going to be it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!